Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2011 Ford Escape and I will show you how to remove and replace the throttle body. This video applies to Ford Escapes made from 2008 all the way up to 2012. These Escapes came powered with either 3.0 liter V6 engine or a small 4 cylinder engine. Now the throttle body is the same, part number is the same, just the location will be a bit different. To start lift the front hood and first I will show you the location of the throttle body. It's very easy accessible, it's right here on top of the engine. Now if you have, a, this is a V6 3.0 liter, if you have a small 4 cylinder uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be located uh, right here, but you'll see it because it's gonna look completely the same. And on a four-cylinder engine, the process to remove it, it's a bit different. You'll want to remove the battery to get better access to it. On these ones, uh, it's actually quite easier. Once you replace the throttle body, the important thing is to do the recalibration, which luckily you can do by yourself. You don't have to take it to a dealer and you don't need any expensive uh, diagnostic tools. But once uh, I replace this one, I will show you what has to be done. You pretty much have to uh, just start the vehicle with all accessories turned off and just leave it idle for a while but I will explain that once the time comes. Okay so to start first we want to disconnect this electrical connector this is the MAF sensor now there is a safety pin right here this red piece so what you want to do you want to use a flat screwdriver and just pry it out like this and once you've done that you can just press onto this black tab right here and disconnect it just like that once disconnected you will also want to remove this small tab from this piece this wire because you have to remove this complete assembly so just want to pull this out you see this was inside this hole right here and now you can place this, place this wire somewhere on the side so it's not on the way. Once you've done that then you want to loosen up two, two flat uh, screws, one is here and one is here at the bottom. So you don't want to remove them completely, just loosen them up enough so you can wiggle this piece off. Now before you start pulling this piece of the throttle body there is still one more hose that you have to disconnect it's just down here now, I'll try to record it there is like a small tab you want to press here it's just back here there's a small tab you actually want to push I hope you can see it here see you want to press this tab to the left, just press it and then wiggle this holes off, okay, just like that. And now this piece is ready to be removed. Okay, remove it and set it on the side and before you install it back make sure to give it a good clean up. Next thing to do would be to remove the electrical connector from the throttle body. So same thing, you will have a small red uh, safety, safety clip here. So you can use your flat screwdriver or something similar just to pry it out. 
and once you've uh, pried it again there is a black connector a uh, black tab which you want to press and disconnect this wire okay let me zoom it in a bit so i want to pull this red safety tab out and just press here and pull out And pretty much the last thing to do is to remove four 8mm screws. So you will have two on the top and two on the bottom. So one here and one just down there. Once you have removed all the screws, the throttle body will just separate and you can completely remove it. Now, um, before installing the new throttle body, you'll definitely want to also replace uh, this small gasket. I mean, the price is only like four or five dollars for it and it's always a good idea just to place a new gasket so there is no any kind of leaks here. So once you're installing the new throttle body, you just do everything uh, vice versa and once everything is back in place and connected, you will uh, start your vehicle and uh, leave it running for a while. It is also a good idea just to clean all these connections, uh, just use a bit of uh, electrical contact cleaner to clean this connector this one here this and you can also clean the map sensor with the map cleaner as well because this is pretty much all all connected if your map sensor is uh, not working properly your uh, throttle body will not uh, work uh, as it's supposed to either and then you might experience symptoms like uh, back bad acceleration um, rough idle uh, transmission issues even and things like that so leave it idle for as long as possible I'm gonna say leave it maybe for one hour or so this is the best way for Ford to relearn the throttle body now it's gonna start actually relearning once the operating temperature gets here to the middle and then then like I said just just leave it for a while and uh, after that what you want to do you want to take it for a longer test drive drive it uh, for a while on the highway then take it to the city take it to the traffic lights uh, drive it as much as you can and then the shifting patterns should also relearn and that should hope hopefully fix your problem now also one important thing before you start this relearn process always make sure to reset the memory and any codes from the PCM so if you had your check engine light on or if a small wrench key was on here you want to reset it before you you start this process and that's that's pretty much it it's quite easy to replace it and, and you don't have to take it to a dealer and spend a bunch of money now one more thing i will mention there is bunch of aftermarket parts on the market so that means you can buy uh, throttle body for under a hundred bucks but i wouldn't recommend that try to go with the oem parts with this it's quite sensitive um, if you don't then maybe go with a more reputable company something like a doorman it's it's uh, less expensive than the OEM parts and still works pretty good but don't go with some kind of cheap Amazon parts because that will cause just uh, more headaches and problems for you thank you for watching my video I hope it was helpful and educational if it was please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel on my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.